What's up, guys? It's me, Absu Habibi, and today I'll be showing off our opening for uh, Usagi in Japan. I don't know if showing off is the right word because I'm definitely gonna make some mistakes along the way, but it doesn't matter. We're an Iron Man. We're going to unite Japan. The goal here is to unite Japan while also doing some show strength. So uh, this isn't like a call out video or anything like that. Um, but even though you can unite Japan pretty fast, like I'd say 1460, the average player could probably do it 1460, 1470. Sup my dude, less than three. Sup, sup my dude, sup my dude. Instead of unifying Japan really fast, what if instead we did a bunch of show strengths and not only that, we did a bunch of show strengths, we also unified it by like 1480. So it's a bit early, like, you know, some players could do 1459, 1458, they could unify all of Japan. Um, so you're delaying it by what, 20 years, 21 years, 22 years in game. But I think this way, by doing the show strengths, you'll be much, 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 much more stronger. Especially since in single player, you're probably going to have to dev renaissance at some point. Uh, doesn't naturally grow in Japan. Easy set up estates, normal things with deving our Diplo. Able to, we're able to get the plus one stability immediately as Usagi, just every single time. So we can just put the advisor cost right away. If we're lucky, we can get the guys that we need for radical reforms. Unfortunately, we did not get the guys that we need for radical reforms. But we are going to just take the advisors. Usually, I would reroll if it was multiplayer. I would reroll for those, but I'm not going to do that in this run because it is a, it is a lot of money to spend rerolling for uh, inflation and trade advisor. So we can get radical reforms. I'm going to do that one. Not the best uh, diets either. So so far this hasn't been the best run. I'm going to hit this button right here. And we're done with our opener. We're going to get a Merc stack. And we're going to wait until the 30th of November. Okay. And for our rivals we're going to pick some small ass dudes. Preferably people with no allies. Uh, Ando, I usually like allies no one. Um, this guy rivaled us, but we're not going to rival him because he's allied to Ando. So we can't do uh, two show strengths immediately. Um, Shiba is allied to Takeda. Okay, these same two. This guy, there is a fort right here, which is a bit annoying. Because there's a capital fort. Beige, now that we have our rivals, I deleted that one cav regiment because it's a waste of money. Gonna hit Humiliate on this guy immediately and run at these guys. And do to make the sieges faster is we can build some spy networks on the guys we're sieging. It will help a bit. Peace out the guy for Dukies and then this guy, you know, we'll run this guy up to here just so we're ready. It's been one year. Ooh, great, perfect timing. Uh, but we are going to change our dev cost edict to protect trade. Of course, your capital is half cost state edict, so you should use that. And that's our first show strength completed. Second show strength war. Let's go, baby. Why do you pick Usagi? Well, you can do the strat with any guy, but we're also trying to unify Japan fast while get it farming show strengths. I think um, the best OPM start is Oda in Japan. In Japan, It's better than Shimizu. Shimizu has this problem where you're stuck in an island um, and you're all the way on the bottom of Japan. Oda and Usagi have the benefit of being in the middle of Japan. So, you know... Doing the show strength strategy is very, very, very powerful. But um, the reason why we picked Usagi is because not only did we want to do a bunch of show strengths, we also wanted to uni unite Japan pretty fast while doing the show strengths. That's the entire point of this run. Honestly, like the animation drifters is like the only reason why I Shimizu is my favorite daimyo. Oda is, I think, the best for doing like a cool like world conquest run, you know, where you stay as the shogun. They have the best ideas for that because they have both province war score cost and core cost in their ideas. Usagi uh, is still really good though. Like, these ideas are, are, are dank, man. All right, I'm going to do humiliate on this guy. Money. Boom. Next guy. This is show strength number two. Boom. Just the way the cookie crumbles, my chatters. All right. Wait for the month tick. Maybe these guys are no longer valid rivals. With the techs, we, take, we can take tech fours. Diplo and Admin, all of these. We can take them super early, giving us 12 Inno 
to start. Boom, Ando is no longer valid rival. So let's see, let's make another rival. Uh, this guy has the fort. You gotta keep that in mind. Date is the is the guy. Date is the guy. Is he in another war? Ooh, why is he allied to so many people? Maybe there's a better guy. Shiba? Shiba. Kono won't help Shiba. Okay, so Shiba it is. Shiba is now our next rival. Rival. I don't know why I said rival. Um, and we're going to deck on him for show strength. How do you say da Is it Date? Date? I'm going to build a galley here. One galley. See the strong aristocrats is so bald here. Oh, I don't even want to look at this. I probably should hit this button while I was at peace, but it's okay. We can do that after the this war is over. And our show strength number three. Also, the reason why we did that humiliate, it's actually pretty good. We have the splendor bonus already. But now that we've done this guy, I'm going to take his money. Ooh. Thank you for your dookies. And then send this guy to siege here. Basically, you want to be sieging with the merc stack. You know, that way you save the most manpower. I am going to make another general here. Probably not the best uses of mill, but we do need him. And since we do have tech 4 and 100 pp, we do have 4 morale to this guy's 3.1 morale. Yeah, I really wish show strength, proc, humiliate rival. But hey, dude, it is what it is. Glory Seeker. Honestly, the best general to get in Japan. And my king died at the age of 15, even though he's not a general. What is this cursed run? That war is going on. We're going to deck on this guy for Sogoku. To expand our first expansion, 1449, first expansion. Wow. Show strength number three is now completed. Boom, boom, boom. Not only that, that guy that was our rival is in a war against Date and he's losing. Hopefully he loses and he loses all his land, making him no longer valid rival so we can pick more rivals. All right, first expansion, 1450. One province here, just one, one little baby province. We're also going to hit this button, sale of titles, and we're going to hit summon diet. Um, did Renaissance spawn yet? No, it didn't. Okay. We got to keep our eye on that. It's very, very important. Uh, these all suck. I'm going to do the stab three and just hope for positive stab events. With the expansion of one province, we wait one month tick. Oh, wait. Good this guy. We're going to hit that button right there. Turn dev edict on. Hit this a couple times. Hit this a couple more times. Hit this a couple more times. Okay, go into here. Seize lands. Okay, we're chilling. Haven't taken a single loan yet. Here we go. No longer valid rival. Uh, now we do Yamana. Yeah, Yamana will be the easiest one. Uh, wait for the month tick and we go show strength. That's that day sieged Nice Give me some money Easy clap. They give me some money. We have to wait for these other guys to finish sieging. We can declare we're on this guy and Well because Yamana is getting siege and this guy is getting siege. So instead of wasting time we can declare this guy for Sengoku, which means we can farm money from date again. I want to see something dude? This is now show strength number four. Yeah, this is our fourth show strength. Yamana is done. And that also allows us to take this. Oh, Renaissance did spawn, but we are going to take these two. Um, leaving us to go our mill idea, which if I'm doing multiplayer, right, you'd go quantity or quality. But, you know, single player, you're going to go offensive because offensive is probably the best single player mill idea group. You know, better generals. Force limit, siege ability, very big in single player, and of course discipline, not bad. But um, yeah, so we can go that. We can also go mill focused. Of course, remember we got a three one one. I think Ashikaga forced us to kill our four four four, which is why we're in this situation. But usually that wouldn't happen if you're playing this run. I think. But that's show string number four. We should have... Yamana should no longer be a valid rival, I don't think. We'll see. Uh, also, they just got decked on by Amago, so I think they're pretty dead considering we killed their entire army. Again, we're going to make Hatakayama our next rival while expanding by one province that we are now annexing or coring. 
can do another show strength again this is, would be show strength number five yeah, this is our fifth show strength was trying to avoid this guy as much as possible him and mino you, or toki you should kind of avoid because they, also uh amago as well um these three all have level three forts um because you know it's a level two fort plus capital level three fort so you need nine men to siege um amago is one that you want to avoid fighting um, and I'm actually in a war against two of the ones that I just said to avoid fight. By the way, since we did doing the show strength, we are at 20 inno already. 20 inno, dude. That's 2% all power cost. Dude, we're just whooping these guys' asses. It helps that we're a tech ahead of them, like in every single war we've fought so far. Always tech ahead, tech ahead, tech ahead. Very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. More inno? Wow. 26.9 inno with this strap. In 1457, yeah. first loans taken, indebted to the burgers, of course, 12.12 interest. The AI just deleted a fort, based. They just deleted this fort, and they deleted this one. <sighs> what the heck? Show strength number five completed. That's five show strengths. Boom. It's done, and we have more valid rivals. Oh, okay, let's see who we don't have a truce with. Hosokawa, you look very juicy today, and you have no allies. That is the perfect target. Wait for the month tick. We can now declare war on these guys. So then we can now, now that this is done, so this is number show strength number six right here. There we go. And then now we're in, we're doing show strength number seven before these guys become no longer valid rivals. Uh, who else is in this war? Nanbu. Okay, so let's just go run at Nanbu real quick. While we're doing this show strength, we're going to continue warring here. You know what? Let's do Ashigo. Let's do it. So we are going to have to dev institution. I'm just going to do it right now. Um, yeah, we're going to put dev edict here and then just... Boop, boop, boop. This province here. So even though he's not a non uh, Kobich, we will want to annex this province here. We will also want to think. Yeah. Barely have any AE with like anyone, so it's really not a problem. Oh, so, uh, we're gonna eat this. Fourteen sixty-five. Seven show strengths. Hit this, this, this. Let's see what we have for valid rivals. Date and Oishi. We could do an eighth show strength. <laughs> we actually could. Actually, we could do nine show strengths. Okay, nine is a bit excessive, I think. But we could do it. We could do it. So there we go. We could go into here. I honestly shouldn't do that one. This one I should do. Eight is fine. Eight is fine. I did deck conquest, but it's fine. Cause honestly, we shouldn't do show strength on Oichi. I don't think, because it would really make forming. Cause we need two wars to to eat them. No, we don't actually. Uh, I'm gonna just eat them that much anyways, and we do eight show strengths. I think that's way better. Just to show it though, if you really want to be excessive with the show strengths, you could have done nine. Depends on your run, too. Like, not everyone's run's gonna turn out like, just like this, obviously. Gonna eat this. We're losing our inno, by the way, but hey, we're getting it back now. We did lose 0.5 inno. No! 0.5 innovated this! Uh, I'm going to also take this right here. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna piece out these guys. We're gonna take this. Boom. Looking pretty thick. Pretty, pretty thick. Little Oda just spawned, which is perfect for us to just deck on. <laughs> Oop. That's Oda. Actually, can we can actually win this. Um, we have tech 6. You gotta remember, tech 6 is probably the biggest early game tech. Yeah, retreat these guys. They should be fine. They're not gonna win this, but look at that. Once we have our good general, this is not even our good general. Once we get our good general, we get a proper stack. Yeah, dude, we're going to be able to do this. I'm going to also roll three generals. This is going to be the worst slackening of all time. Three generals. Six shock. Two six shocks. 
This is going to give us so little manpower. But I do need to do that real quick because we don't have our free company yet. So we're going to only have 14k troops. So we're going to have to rely on these. We will need to take good battles though to compensate for a lack of men. Yeah, we're just completely decimating here. I think we can catch the stack wipe. There we go. We stack wiped Ashikaga's army. We're now fighting against 19k with 11k. So we have Kyoto. <laughs> We've sieged Kyoto, all part of uh, our plan. How many have they lost in this war? They've lost 30, 33,000 troops and we've lost 7k. Oda war is over. How much can I even take in this war? Can I just beep, 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 Oh, God, dude. If I was in a multiplayer game here, I would go for the white piece. Uh, just so, because we're not ready for this war yet. And not only that, in, in a multiplayer game, you want to keep Daimyo, right? But in a single player game, you're probably going to want the Shogunate government type. So, because it's... Probably one of the best government types in EU4, the Shogunate government type. Uh, you gotta remember that uh, you can make infinite vassals with the Shogun government type. Um, and uh, you can basically have like a HRE vassal swarm without ever forming or without ever revoking the privileges of the HRE, right? We're just wrecking them. We're just wrecking troops everywhere. Oh my. And just like that. We are now the Shogun. And we have basically all of Japan. 1470. A bit behind on Diptech. A bit. Well, this looks scary, these two. But remind, remember, we have 250 in the bank. Only 779. Might seem like a lot, but once we have everything cored and stated and everything, our income should be a lot higher. But, um, yeah, that's basically unified. You're going to have to annex everyone if you go this way. Of course, you could have. we could have avoided taking Kyoto there and just kept eating. But how many show strengths did we do? We did eight. We did eight show strengths. Eight show strengths. So, you know, we're ahead in tech, tech six. We have three in our uh, mill ideas. And not only that, we have Renaissance. Uh, from here, like you could do a lot of things, right? Since we do have Renaissance, what we, you could do uh, is you could go exploration as your second idea. Uh, uh, you could do exploration as your second idea if you're doing single player, right? Um, and then you can save scum the next institution so you don't have to dev it colonialism uh yes i was selling crownland uh we also can reduce autonomy we you're going to want to reduce autonomy everywhere here like this you're going to spawn some rebels but we can deal with them we can um also i would put root out corruption to max in this situation interest is only 1.31 ducats which is really not bad at all um what else? And um, yeah, and if uh, again, uh, if this was multiplayer, we would just eat everything and then just form Japan. Uh, unless it's vanilla, because in vanilla, you want to keep the independent daimyo government type. But in single player, I think shogunate government type is one of the best. So you'd probably want to avoid hitting this button. Uh, like you could hit this button. But I would not hit this button. I really wouldn't. I also wouldn't hit this button. But anyways, I think 
I think it's pretty strong, pretty good, you know, pretty good way to play Japan. Um, I really don't, like, this is still pretty, still pretty fast, 1470, um, like, for uh, Daimyo to have all of Japan, but I think, I think this is the way to do Japan. I think, I really don't think you should rush to, to unify Japan as Daimyo. You can, it's pretty easy, especially as a nation like Usagi, it's like super duper easy. Uh, but I think it's better to do the show strengths. We could have even done nine show strengths. You could even go to 10. Uh, if you stayed small for a long time, you could go up to like 12 or 13 show strengths, which is a absolutely crazy amount. And not only that, I really think you could optimize this even more as a chatter singer is because we were playing kind of lazily. We weren't playing the most optimized, I don't I don't think. Um, like we were playing speed four and speed five in some parts. Of course, when in 1530, when the gold mine spawns here, this is gonna probably gonna deplete right away. But I would have preferred a different province to dev the institution on, maybe like Awari if we conquered it faster, or even like Setsu. One of the farmland provinces would have been better to dev the institution. Uh, Musashi even would have been probably better than Ashigo now that I think about it, but I had strong I had seed of strong aristocrats I still do which is increasing the autonomy in this province really high. That's it for this one um, I hope you enjoyed some education educational habibi uh, with a little bit of, of fun in there um, In that last war we ended up probably doing maybe five to one casualties something insane tech six man really really important tech but yeah, that's uh um, you could maybe use this to for your single player or multiplayer runs what we did here